What's up guys, welcome back to 4 by 4 Jumpman and today we're going to be talking about the new Bluetti Charger which is this one, this is called the Bluetti Charger 1, the D60L. This is going to be a game changer for your portable power station. So with the charger you can also get a cable which is optional. So the Bluetti cable is quite good quality and it's a 6AWG which is really thick. It's also got a circuit breaker. So that will come in handy if you have any overload. This is a sponsored video. Bluetti sent me this one to test it out and review it and I'll give you my honest review on this charger. So what's the charger for? So this charger is an alternator charger. So when you hook this up on your alternator, you can get power to your portable power station. So it can charge up to six times faster. All right, let's do an installation first and then we we'll talk about more about the charger. Let's see what's inside the Blue Eddy Charger 1 box. Blue Eddy Charger 1 doesn't harm your battery lifespan because the Charger 1 reduces power output. If the voltage is high, it increases output. If the battery drops below 12 volts, then the Charger 1 triggers under voltage protection and stops charging. Inside, you got the Blue Eddy Charger 1 and it's so compact and very small. You've got the MC4 output cable. Bluetti Charger 1 has wide compatibility which works with all Bluetti power stations and most brands on the market. It has minimal impact on fuel consumption as it uses excess power from your alternator to charge your power station. The user manual and also the instructions on how to install it. The app you can easily check the charging status, adjust the voltage di directly from your phone and ensure everything is running smoothly. If you don't have a Bluetti power station this can still work using the MC4 connections or solar charging cables. It also works with all the Bluetti power stations and 95% of the brands on the market. Also backed by a 2 year warranty for reliable performance. It delivers 560 watts of power, six times faster than traditional car cigarette lighter chargers. It has four OT terminals. It has one hex socket wrench, or they call it Allen key. It has four hex socket screw, and these are just actually spares. There's already one in the Blue Eddy charger. It has a pair of tube terminals, which is red for positive, and another one for black for negative. The DC input cable without mounting with two tapping screws. So the charger one can go up to 560 watts, which is more than enough to charge many of the bigger Blue Eddy power stations. It can go up to 56 volts. Cable size is a 6AWG, it's about 3 meters long. 60 amp circuit breaker. Blue Eddy charger one can be used with any vehicles that has 12 volt or 24 volt starter battery including RVs, vans and trucks can also be used with hybrid vehicles that had an alternator and starter battery but cannot be used on electric vehicles as their battery management system works different from gas powered cars. So we'll start to hook this up. I'm going to run it onto through the bonnet and under my car and then in through my tub rack. Here I've got some split loom. This is about 10 meters, but I probably only need about three meters of that. And that way this cable is protected when it goes under the bonnet and in through the chassis and then onto my tub rack. So what I like to do first is disconnect my battery when I'm doing any work on my car. Make sure to disconnect the sensor. So I just put a cover over it so I don't have to fully take it out. 
So with my positive side of the battery, there's already a fuse here. This is 225 fuse. So I can put it in any of my accessories. So I've got a fuse here near the battery plus another circuit where uh, the blue wetter charger is. So I'm going to run the cables through there and under there where there's gaps is trying to avoid the fuel line. So it's going to run through the back key. That's where it's going to come out. So run it through the back key and all the way down to this side. And I'm going to run it through this gap here for now. And then over the tub. So it'll come up here and then just here. And I'll just go over through there. If you wanted to run it through the cabin, there's a grommet under here where you can go through. And then you go through the side here and into the back. So you just lift these panels up and go through there and then go through the back here. And the safety features, it protects your vehicle battery and power station from short circuit, reverse connection, under voltage, over temperature and many others. Alright, so we got the split tube in and we're going to go feed it through now. So I'm just doing a zip tie. Around under the chassis. So now we need to connect the cables. They've got the Allen key to loosen it. doesn't have to be so tight as long as it's in there it's a positive and then a negative so we've got our input here Now we can put our negative. And that's connected. So now we have to try to mount it. Connecting the positive cable onto the battery. So I've just mounted the Blue Eddy charger here for now. And I've got my AC2A here and I've got my cable. Let's connect that. So that one's connected. And I'll put this one on here. And now the AC2A is connected. I've got my circuit breaker here. I'll turn it on soon when I start the car. So let's turn on the circuit breaker. All right, so now I'm gonna start the car. Now that the car's started, it's flashing the green light. 
So right now, our input is at 128 watts. So right now it's doing 130 watts. So the Bluetta Charger 1 is flashing green, which means it's working. So using the app, you can go into do the Charger 1. Click on Charger 1. And that's how much it's doing, 14.1 volts. It's at 136 watts. So with the charger you can choose the model that you're using, mine is the AC2A, let's look for that, here it is, and it's currently working on the AC2A, so it's just changing again, and now it's even gone to 136 watts. Car is running. We can turn on the app and check our device. So we've got the charger there and we've also got the AC2A. Let's check out the charger. So right now it's hitting at 14 volts, it's just warming up and it's doing about 133 watts. Let's check out what the AC2A is doing. So right now it's at 77% but it's doing 130 watts. 129 watts so that's pretty good so whenever you're driving you can check both charger and your blue Eddy power station so this also works with a lot of other brands 95% of the brands in the market this works as long as you got the solar cable so with this you can also turn off the charger if you need to turn it off so I'm just gonna turn it off for now So now it's turning off and it's going to do 0 watts and the voltage will go down. So I'll just show you and turn on the charger and see if it works. So it's working now and then it'll start to power up and get wattage. So an adaptive mode on the settings you can change for smart alternators but mine works fine without changing it. And that's the Bluetta charger guys. So now let's see what happens when we turn off the engine. So right now the engine is off. It's still got the green, but it'll slowly turn off. So right now, the AC2A, it's on zero watts input. For those people who are asking about smart alternators, my Ford Ranger has a smart alternator and it works perfect with the Blue Eddy Charger 1 and with my AC2A. So the good thing about having a Blue Eddy Charger 1 is when there's no sunshine, when it's raining, you want to charge your portable power station, you can use this when you're driving. So if you have a roof solar panel and it's a really bad weather, you can't really use it or charge. So with the alternator charger, it works even when it's raining and that's what's so good about it.
So the good thing about this charger, it doesn't need an ignition wire or accessory wire, which is the blue wire. Because when you turn this on, the car will detect or the charger will detect that there's a low voltage and it won't work. So once the voltage is high enough, it'll start working. So it's pretty much automatic. When you turn on the engine, it'll turn on. And then when you turn off your engine, it'll turn off. So that's why this is pretty good and it works really well. So 12 volt cigarette sockets, when you use that to charge, it's really slow. So when you got a Blue Eddy charger that works through the alternator, it's a lot faster and it's about six times faster when you're charging a portable power station. So this is a diagram of the Blue Eddy chargers and it shows the capacity and then it shows how many hours it can charge between the Blue Eddy charger one and the car cigarette lighter. Bigger power station, the Blue Eddy charger one has a better performance. With the AC200L, it can charge up to 560 watts, which only takes 3.6 hours, while using the car cigarette lighter, only at 100 watts max, it's 20.4 hours. So right now the Blue Eddy Charger 1 is on sale and you can get members price for only $349 AUD and it goes till up to October 14th. So make sure you get that while it's on a sale price. So Blue Eddy is having an event coming up which starts in October 16 and it's called the Spring Travel. You can get a chance to win an iPhone 16 and other portable stations. So make sure you go to the Blue Eddy website and check that out. So if you like this video guys, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to answer all your questions. Peace out. Check out Blue Eddy support on YouTube video for official installation. For your own peace of mind, you can also get a professional help and get a qualified auto electrician to install it for you.